Hi, everybody, and welcome to college basketball once again here on CMAC, uh, the great CMAC, coming to you from Fresno, California. We got a terrific game for you tonight. Uh, my name is Chris Terrence. This is Del Bayshore, formerly of the Chicago Bulls and also of the Milwaukee Bucks and uh, played all over the world, as a matter of fact. It's an honor to be standing next to this guy, and he can still play. But, uh, Del, what's better than a really good rivalry? Oh, this, we're going to see a great one tonight. COS and Fresno City have many, many years of a close rivalry. You're going to see two of the best coaches in this conference going at it, opposing styles, and you know certainly the one coach, COS, isn't going to play, try to play into Fresno City's style. So we, we're going to have a good game tonight. Yeah, we've had a lot of those uh, great uh, rivalry games right here on uh, CMAC. And, uh, yeah, and I love the point about uh, Rusty Smith uh, from COS and Ed Maddock from Fresno. Uh, these two guys, they have known each other for years. They're great friends. They, uh, they're very competitive. When the ball goes up, it's dead serious, isn't it? Yeah, friendship kind of goes out the door then. They're coaching their kids, and, uh, you know, you really see a competitive uh, feistiness out of both coaches tonight. All right. Okay, we're going to have a great game. Uh, we'll, uh, we're going to uh, stop right now, and uh, we're going to show you the starting lineups uh, pretty soon, and uh, we'll get this thing underway. And we're going to have a great time. Glad you're here. Go to the fridge, get a couple of uh, sodas and some beers, get them out. And uh, we're going to have some great basketball for you. Hi, everybody. What a pleasure it is to be standing next to the winningest coach in the history of Fresno City College. And uh, uh, we're getting ready for a great rivalry game with a good COS team. Yeah, a good COS team, but a great COS coach. A legend in Rusty Smith and a, in a a good friend of mine, and I have a lot of respect for Coach Smith and his program. Uh, we're going to have a war on our hands every every time we play them. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? Doesn't matter. Records don't matter. Nothing else. It's a, it's a, it's a great rivalry. Yeah, it sure is. And you guys are great friends. But when the ball goes up, the ball goes up. Yeah, it's a war every time, and uh, that's why we're good friends because he's a peaceful warrior, and I have a lot of respect for him because he's a, he's uh, one of the few men left in this game, especially at this level. How's, uh, how are you feeling so far about the season? You, you seem to be getting better and better as you go along. Yeah, absolutely. We're getting better. Started off all freshmen, but now not freshmen anymore. Been, through, been, in, uh, been in some good dog fights. I think we're battle tested and uh, we're definitely getting better. So uh, just one day at a time. Great. Good luck, coach. Have a great night tonight. Yeah. Always good to see you, man. Yeah, it's the best seeing you too. Thank you. Okay. That's Coach Ed Maddock of the Fresno City College Rams. Just wait one second, we'll get Rusty Smith. We're talking with Coach Rusty Smith of the of COS, and, and uh, you know, when you and Ed get together and coach a game, it's really kind of fun to watch uh, you guys as well as the players. Well, I don't spend too much time watching Ed, uh, except when I see him on tape, uh, and then that's entertaining as well. Uh, but yeah, the, our games are always, have been competitive, and. You know, Ed and I have a great relationship. We've been friends for many years, and so it's all, it's, it, I won't say it's fun to compete with Ed, uh, but it's always a challenge. Well, you always bring a good team, and you guys always come to play, and so are the Rams, and here we go. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. Ed has done a phenomenal job over the years, and we just try to keep our head above water. You're the man, Rusty. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Coach Rusty Smith, and we'll take a break. Come right back. Cinderella found the pet that fits her perfectly. Tiana gave her pet the royal treatment. Belle found beauty where no one else did. And you can too. Share your heart. Share your love. Bring home your forever friend. Make a shelter pet part of your world. Happily Ever After begins at theshelterpetproject.org. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What a sweetheart. Attaboy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. Hey everybody, 
Welcome back, and uh, we're just about getting ready to rock and roll in here uh, to see this great game between these two terrific uh, community college teams, uh, two of the best in the country, I'd say. Yeah, and it's always a great to watch these two coaches go at it. Very experienced, top two coaches in the conference. I think one of the differences this year is that Coach uh, Rusty at COS is, is led by a, a tandem of guards, freshman guards, and he has a couple six, seven bodies, which we always see some big inside players from his team, but this year they're led by a couple guards, and it should be an interesting matchup of guards tonight between the two teams. Yeah, uh, right, because that's what the Rams do. They have uh, they have uh, many, many uh, guards on the team, uh, not all the same height, but uh, all of them uh, are, you can feel it between the two teams yeah, tonight, and, can't and, you? And in the starting lineup for the, for the Rams, Tyus the cup. Milholland is coming off one of his best scoring games. He's leading the team as well as Christian Carroll, one of the so two sophomores on this roster. And uh, so uh, you look on the other side of the ledger and, and Austin Amstead is a local kid from Bullard and he's leading them in scoring. So they're really going to be a key matchup of the guards tonight. You know, it was interesting too. You know how perfect it is as far as the matchup goes. Both uh, high scorers for each team. Uh, Tyus, uh, for us, well, we're for everybody, but I mean, uh, <laughs> Tyus, uh, uh, Tyus Milholland uh, averaging 14 points a game. Christian Carroll is averaging 14 points a game. And so, and Cole is averaging 11. You look over at COS, Armstead is averaging 14. Johnson is averaging 12. And Bynum is averaging 11. Exactly the same. Yeah. Yep, so very closely matched. It'll be an interesting game. You know the Rams are going to bring a wave of all 10 players constantly throughout the game. So, Yeah. Okay, well, we'll uh, we're going to look at the starting lineups here for you. And uh, how you doing, fellas? The referees are checking in. They don't look too angry. They, they, look, they look okay. Yeah. Until uh, <laughs> Ed starts barking at them, they'll be okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, but uh, so uh, we're going to show you now the College of Sequoias. And uh, the starters for them is number five, Isaiah Johnson. You see him there. He's a freshman, 6'2". And, uh, well, this is the Ram. Let's go back to CO West. Uh, also starting is Ken uh, Bynum. And Bynum is a, he's one of the only sophomores, I think. No, he's a freshman as well. He went to El De Monte in uh, Visalia. Kiner Tuttle is a good player. He, uh, he's an all-round player. Freshman, 6'1", out of Irvine. Uh, and there's the, the young fellow from Centennial High School. This is Austin Armstead. And they got another one. Uh, they have Austin uh, Malezzo. So, but Austin Armstead is starting. And uh, also Bobby uh, Chazar. Okay, and uh, Chazar out of uh, Heath. Where's that? Heath? Not sure. Okay, uh, he's a sophomore, 6'7", and uh, moving over to the Rams now, we'll see who, who the starters are. It's uh, number one, Thomas Milholland. Uh, had a great game the other night, was our player of the game. And Christian Carroll out of the Golden Valley of Golden Valley and up near Merced, a terrific guard. A lot of great players come out of that neck of the woods. Number 14 is Fred Lavender, and Fred's out of Stockton. Another terrific uh, player for the Rams. Uh, then Jordan Hollins Buckner is getting the start tonight. Uh, he went to uh, Modesto Christian in Stockton. And Ethan Eads, uh, big, eight, uh, big Ethan is 6'8", uh, he's a forward. He's out of uh, Central Catholic in Hawaii Pacific and Modesto, California. And right now, we're going to have the national anthem right now. So let's all stand, okay?
to toss that ball up. Uh, we got uh, three referees tonight are Terrence uh, Mandy, uh, DeMaria uh, Ankins, and Andrew Winters. And you know, there's a late arriving crowd tonight because the game time here is uh, 5 o'clock in California. If you're watching us on the East Coast, it's, uh, it's already uh, 8 o'clock. But... Uh, people are going to be coming in during the game because uh, because of the early start. And what that is is uh, this year they're going from uh, the, the women used to play at 5 and the men would play at, uh, at what, 7.30? Seven, 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 yeah, 7 yeah. o'clock. And, uh, and now they switch it. And uh, coaches, all the coaches like to play the 5 o'clock game because, you know, when you're on the road and all over California, it's a long ride back you know, uh, back home. So it's, you're home a lot earlier. So in that way, the five o'clock start is good. Uh, but uh, there you see uh, Rusty Smith, last minute instructions. Yeah, it'll be interesting, I think, Chris, to see how much rope he gives these guards to run with Fresno City. You know, Fresno City wants that up tempo. They're gonna press, they're gonna push the ball. And often, you know, Coach Smith is smart enough to know that maybe they can't sustain that for 40 minutes and they're going to slow the tempo down, pound it into their bigs. But this year they're led by a trio of really perimeter players that are leading them in scoring. So it's going to be interesting to see what tempo uh, COS comes out with and how they handle the pressure that Fresno City is going to bring. There's Ethan Eads, uh, uh, and he is... COS uh, comes out with... Uh, Isaiah Johnson, Ken Bynum, Connor Tuttle. Watch that Connor Tuttle. He's uh, he's a very quick guard, and uh, this is going to be a very uh, fast game. I would have to think. I would think. I think they're going to play at a faster tempo this year than they have in the past. They put up 94 points last game against Reedley, to, uh, 45 of those coming from their two uh, leading scoring guards. So, you know, it's a team that relies on guard play and and scoring from that position. All right, ball goes up, and the first possession goes to City. And Fred Lavender get the ball out to Christian Carroll, and we're underway here at Fresno City College. COS coming out, straight man. Yep. That's Titus Milholland. He's he had a huge game in here the other night. He did. He shot the ball extremely well. Nice left. Great by Christian. left hand by Christian Carroll. Rams are on the board. This is Armstead. And Armstead's played in this kind of system. At Bullard High, he uh, was taught this very similar system, up-tempo, press, push. So it'll be interesting to see how he handles the pressure was, the Rams are going to bring. Was he over there when Tony was over yes. there? Yeah. Yep. Tony Amison of the great Amison brothers. Oh, right oh. on the money again. Tyus, Tyus doing stroke again. Yeah, He's just really what he did the, the other up. night. And it's five to nothing in favor of the Rams. Rams into their man-to-man, -man, and there's a Good help side. Back door pass uh, went awry, and Milholland comes up with it down the floor. Over to Lavender. It's a nice defensive sequence for the Rams. They've come a long way since the beginning of the year, and they're straight up man-to-man -man and pressure. Here we're going to have a shot of... Uh, this is going to be uh, Tyus Milholland stepping to the line, and uh, what a great game he had the other night. And uh, he's an 80% free throw shooter as well. Nice job of starting out this game aggressive again with a lot of confidence. Here he is uh, the other night. Uh, this is his just one of his many uh, three-pointers. This is tonight, the first three of tonight. He stepped right into it. Nice stroke, dead center. Just like the other night. Yeah, it's picked up where he left off. Tyus, nice soft touch. Yep. Here comes a few new bodies already. Five in, five out. Rams will get after you here in the full court. Showing a little different look, not jumping the ball this time. They're denying. 
Ford comes up and pressure releases. The hands. Looks like a bit of a zone that time down. And there's uh, Cole Morgan. Oh, nice fake. Looked like he was going to go back outside and he went off the glass instead. A little hesitation, but the nice thing I really see in the improvement in Cole's penetration is that he comes to a good two-foot jump stop and he really gathers himself before he makes decisions. You'll see this in this play where he just, you know, he looks like maybe he's cut off, jump stop, freezes the defense a little bit and just says, hey, I'm going to bank this in. The defense was still on the ground when he was uh, heading the other way after making the bucket. And uh, so quick start by the Rams. Uh, you bet nine nothing. This is uh, this is amazing because uh, and and but so many times you know, one team could be far in the lead. I've seen over the years of uh, the great matchups between these teams, and I mean going back even 30 years. Uh, I'm sure Coach Smith is talking about to their guards a little bit. They're coming right over half court and picking up their dribble, and they're you know they're not getting rid of the ball quickly. That double teams getting to them, and we've seen a couple deflections already out of that. Hard time getting the ball inbounds. Yeah, they've gone to the full denial on the inbounds. Yes. And they just made it over the 10-second uh, line. And good, good defense in the corner, and double they dribble. forced a double dribble. Yeah. Boy, this is like a, you know, in some ways, it's like a boxing match. You know, the guy comes out and gets a couple good tags in right at the start of the fight. It's, uh, you know, you, you got to shake it off and uh, keep going. I'm I'm really impressed with the improved defensive pressure the Rams are, are really bringing to their play now because early in the season, they didn't have that. And they're double teaming hard. They're not reaching. They're getting their hands on passes. And that really makes this defensive pressure effective. Cole Morgan uh, got a little behind the board for that layup, and here we are. And this is the young fellow Armstead out of Centennial High School, and uh, Isaiah Johnson. Boy, it looks like the, uh, the Sequoias is having a hard time dealing with that uh, pressure, and they, sometimes they come down and they're looking at a different defense. Yeah, they've had their way with the kind of bottom couple teams who have really struggled this year in conference. But, you know, they're not that typical upper echelon team this year. They're in the kind of middle of the pack. But again, they, they are playing a lot of freshmen as well. Uh-oh. Oh. Wow. That was a nice play by Tommy uh, Nuno. Just to get to get the ball off, just, he, yeah, he even did to all get he a could shot do. There. Cole got in trouble. He, he penetrated, got into some traffic, and went up one-legged takeoff. Really didn't have anything when he left the floor. So it's, it's good defense by the COS. Rams are going with Eads, Carroll, Lavender, Milholm. See here if the Rams can play straight up and K haven't given up an anything decent looking shot yet to the, the, the COS. Having a hard time get penetrating. So nice. There's an open shot for the first, and it's off the back of the rim. Christian Carroll corrals it in. Nice pass down the floor to uh, Hollins Buckner. Tyus, a little short. Tyus, Buckner rebound. Tyus goes right back in to, oh, nice gets pass. it back to Hollins Butler. No, he got it to Eads. Carroll comes up with it in the backcourt. Go the other way. Here's Eads again. Oh, nice block there. That was uh, Chazar. Good block. Two, six, yes, seven guys going at it. Yeah, perfect timing. Coach Smith trying to uh, Look at it. have them uh, penetrate this offense, this, this defense. Nice shot. That's one way of doing it. That was Chazar. That looked like a COS offense where Coach Smith really works his big guys to post slow and get that ball inside. Did a nice job there. Oh, quick. 
The idea was good. Pass went off of each foot. Pretty tough angle to handle. Maybe one more dribble could have even got himself to the rim before he dumped it off, but uh, had the right idea. COS take the ball out under their basket. Full court pressure they're going to face. Manilo gets the ball, of course. 10 second line once again, and here's Manilo. Out on him is uh, Pierce, Eric Pierce. Coming off a really good game last game. Oh, he was great. Oh, they got it. They're going to. Nope, didn't make it. Won't count. Holy yep, cow. Didn't get it out of his hand. Boy, that is a tough defense tonight the Rams are putting on. There's Pierce. Pierce. Good rebound by Tommy Nunez. Nunez picking up right where he left off the other night against a, a startled, uh, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, Porter, Porterville came in and just just could not measure up to this uh, to this defense. Now and tried to play the same style as the Rams up and down and it didn't benefit him. But uh, like to watch Tommy Nunez play. He he just does the dirty work. You know he has a good nose for rebounding offensively and defensively. And this time you know offensive putback gets him to the line. Tommy hits both. Pretty good. He's 57% uh, on the year. But like everything else with the Rams, it seems like things are getting better and better. They are. They're, they're showing continued improvement. There's the defense again. Oh, nice defense there on uh, for. Uh, is that a foul? No. No, I think they're going to get the ball out on the baseline. Looks like some new Rams come into the game here. The out of bounds team just part three guys in. Flatten them out on the baseline and see what they do here. Ball comes in to Cole Morgan. Christian Carroll. Cole underneath has his man. He, he, nice job. That was just a nice, body. Pa yep. nice pass, nice shot. Yep. Ram defense is just, just not yielding anything. Oh, there's a nice drive to the hoop. And there's going to be a blocking foul called on Cole. Yeah. That'll be Cole's first, Rams first. I was just about to say, you know, that COS is a little bit on their heels. They're not being aggressive. Even after they get into the front court and move the ball a little bit, they've got to make aggressive moves or the Rams are going to be all up in you. And that time they did, and they get, it, get the reward of getting to the line. Can he bite him? This is the first into the lineup for the Rams comes uh, Zach Savage, who had a good game in here on uh, Saturday night. Nice free throw. That's in by Bynum, and it's 13 to 3. So it's a 10 point lead. And uh, Cole in deep. Oh man, Cole Morgan, rebound, beautifully put up Tommy. by uh, Tommy Nuno. Yeah, he's. There's first foul on the Rams. That's, oh, it's, I'm sorry, second foul. That's two on him. Nuno, I got to get that right. I think I called him Nunez last time. But Tommy, again, just a real nose for the ball. The offensive rebound, put back. That's Lavender. Good pressure. You know, something they didn't do early in the season was get up on the point of the ball and really apply that just man-to-man -man pressure. They're doing a much better job. 
You know, this isn't one of the bigger Rams teams we've seen over the years, but boy, are they good. I mean, on defense. Yeah. Well, and like we talked about last game, good overall size. You know, that yeah. from in every position. A lot position. of medium height. Yeah, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, good wingspan on some of these guys. And I tell you, Ethan Eads is not a slouch. He's improved a lot. He, he gives them that one big body to come in there in the middle. Foul was on Fred Lavender, his first. Third team foul for the Rams. And uh, Oh, that's going to go the other way. That's just good defense, too. Yep. You know, and I think the thing about a lot of these players that come to the city program, they're good players in their high school programs. Maybe they're the best players out of their programs. And not always as much pressure or emphasis put on their defensive side of the ball. But when they come here, everybody's got to defend. Mill Holland. And Coach Mill Maddox really off. teaches them how to get it done on the defensive end. I think uh, Ian Miller is going to be called for that, his first. And we go the other way. I think that's one area where Tyus still has to improve a little bit in his shot selection. I, I know it was early in the shot clock. He's been a hot shooter, but you don't have a chance to rebound. If that shot doesn't go in, it's a do-a-die shot. So I'm sure Coach would like to see him move the ball a little bit and then get that same shot after having moved that defense around a little bit. All the way goes Christian, Christian Cow. Nice move. Beautiful. That's another fellow who has really, really gotten so much better since he's been here. Oh, yeah. And uh, as, oh, oh nice my. Nice defensive play. Holy cow. That looked like a, that was uh, Ian Miller taking one for the team. Yeah. It's something you didn't see early in the season from the Rams. Boy, he went flying. Oh, here's the replay. This is this is Christian. Yeah, he sees the he sees the opening, makes a great move. Wow, Cole, nice wow, move. Cole splits two Cole. and little English off the glass. What a tough kid. He's like you want him on third third and two, you know, and give that ball to Cole Morgan. He'll get that first down for you. Holy cow. See, this is where they're on their heels a little bit. They move the ball around, but they've got to get aggressive and attack that Ram defense once they change sides of the floor. I think they're intimidated uh, by the by the pressure. Cole is saying, go ahead, shoot it. Oh, and he did. He nice did. shot by Isaiah Johnson. It's their second leading scorer. You can't give him open looks. There goes Cole. Holy smokes, he owns that board tonight, doesn't he? Yeah, Cole got poked in the eyes. Struggling to see here a little bit. Coach has his next five ready to go. That was not an easy shot, uh, the angle he had. Foul is on Cole. And that is his second foul. Mm -hmm. Rams with five fouls now. Match up, who do you have? Match up. Hey, hey, go. Oh, nice back oh, that door. That was a beautiful pass. And, uh, Chase are uh, pretty strong in that post. Yeah, he's got a couple buckets already. Ball back out to Christian. Rams looking in. Call the play. He's got Milholland in the corner. Nice drive. Oh, he missed it. Ian Miller. Good penetration, though. Oh, great defense. Good job. Chazar is having a heck of a game in here. Good pump fake finish. Jordan Hollins Buckner. Uh, Say hi. Brandon Hollins Buckner. A little too tight on that defense. Uh, he did a great job last time transitioning back on defense, getting the steal. 
And then we look ahead here. Good pump fake. Nice job. Nice and easy. When you stay under control, the game gets slows down for you and gets easier. Some guys just get can't learn to, you know, younger players to, you know, in that attack area, especially slow down a little bit, get under control. So, see how West starting to chip away a little bit. Yeah, they're starting to they're starting to kind of get their confidence back a little bit. They got jumped on early, but they've settled in a little bit now. Oh, Tough that was shot. a beautiful shot. Yeah, nice shot. He didn't deliver it until he was in his full jump and he was turning his body, and uh, that was beautiful. It's a deep three. And here comes Fred Lavender the other way. Out to Carroll. Carroll, and this is going up by Mill Holland. Off the front of the rim, rebound. I'm instead. Good offense, please. Oh. Almost had that. That was a near breakaway slam dunk by Fred Lavender. Where's that corner? Connor Tuttle missed the. Uh, the three attempt and more new white jerseys. There's Coach Maddock. Boy, he he has just done an amazing job since he's been here, since day one, since he walked into the gym. Oh yeah, he's he's an excellent coach and, and even even more than basketball, he teaches his kids these kids how oh, to be young men. Their attitude is wonderful. Really, they ought to charge admission to watch practice. It's really something to see, folks. Cole going strong again. Yes, he is. Cole is an excellent free throw shooter, 86% on the year. And, uh, still rubbing that eye. It must be watering on him. He got, must have got poked pretty good there a couple times ago inside. Here's his penetration. Didn't get it to drop that time, but got to the line. He does get some interesting angles, though, doesn't he? He does, and he, he leads with his body. He does a really good job of protecting and going up strong. So he's either going to get a good look at the release on his bank shots, or he's going to get fouled. Come back, middle! Middle! Turn his face. It looks like they're spreading out a little bit more now. Nice shot. I tell you, Chazar is an excellent uh, He's, a, he's an inside he's presence. He's scored just about every time they've given him the ball on the low block. Seems like they're spreading out wider against the, uh, the Ram defense. They are, they're, and I think they're deliberately not wanting to shoot the ball quickly because then you get into the tempo the Rams want to play. So they want to slow the Rams down in the half court and make them expend a lot of energy defensively. But the key there is don't turn it over. Early in the game, they were turning it over. Now that they're not turning it over, they're moving the ball side to side and they're getting some pretty good looks. Back within 11 at 26-15. Oh, Ooh. nice move. That was uh, Eric Pierce. Sometimes you make the great move and it just doesn't go. Wow, nice look at uh, Tommy Nuno. How high were his feet off the ground? And here he is at the other end. There's the shot they gave him last time and he passed on it. Wow, it that's down. Eric Pierce. Uh, very reminiscent of Silk Wilkes. Yeah. He he really reminds me of Keith Wilkes. He really does. Kind of winds up a little bit on that from that left hip, but he's a right-handed shooter, but he has a good finish, good follow-through. Very much like Silk, Jamal Wilkes. Other side, get to the other side. 
That's see, Ian Miller. This is where they're trying to be a little bit more deliberate, take their time on offense, make the Rams guard. Oh, he might have got a little fortunate there. Looked yeah, like he just lost it. I think he definitely did. Foul's going to be on Ian Miller, his second. And that puts them to the line so they can chip away here if they make some free throws. Yeah, that was just about ready to be a turnover. You know, and as much as COS is, is kind of figuring it out and making their move a little bit to cut the deficit, what's really the telling story is this pressure, this constant pressure that the Rams are bringing 10, even more guys at you. And, you know, Rusty's rotation's not as deep, so where it pays off is the second half for yeah. City College. They're, they'll just wear these guys down. Sky high for the rebound. Oh, he's fucked now. Ah, he's fortunate there. He got himself a little out of control. Nice job by Ethan. Missed the right hander. Armstead cross court. That's an open shot. Trailer hold, don't get the ball. The Ram defense responds so quickly, doesn't it? It does, but I think, you know, you're seeing a part of the deliberate style offensively of COS not wanting to shoot it real quick. Otherwise, you get in the pace that's not going to benefit you. Nice. They missed an open look there, but here come the Rams. Lavender saved it from going out of bounds. Yeah, again, a, a quick attack by the Rams into some traffic. He got himself to the line. Foul on Connor Tuttle, his first. 15 foul. Tyus knocked these down. Here he is. Season opening, he's gonna go for it. He's a tough kid. Yeah, he's confident that he can take his own man off the dribble. The thing you have to be careful of is, is reading the defense and seeing what help is in position. You know, while it benefited him here against COS, you got to wonder when you get to the tougher state level presence of some of those athletes behind the guard lines, you know, if, if that same shot's a good one or not. Jeff, uh, Jess Spivey back in for the Rams. Just Tuttle. Seven, six, five, four, three, shoot it. Got to shoot it. Off the rim and rebound taken off by. That was a good defensive possession by the Rams. I was yes. thinking they've got it. They've got to stay patient and disciplined even defensively as the offense of Sequoias, you know, is more patient. They can't get anxious and reach or, you know, try to play out of what they're trying to do defensively. Nice three-pointer by Isaiah Johnson. Tommy's got a mid post up here. See what he does with it. Nice. Couldn't get it drop. Down with the rebound comes uh, Chaser. Chaser. So he'll pull it back out. Yeah. Space! This Space! is that chess game between the coaches. I mean, Coach Smith knows that he, he's got to slow the pace down a little bit. Basket! Nice inside. Nice inside basket by Bynum. Beautiful uh, move he made, though, to shoot it. He was fouled ahead of time by Bynum. A nice job bumping off the defense using his length, but they called it on the floor, so the Rams still one foul away from the bonus. They'll take it out. Christian Carroll. Rested and ready. He'll throw it in. 
This is Nuno. It's a nice stagger for Christian, but chose not to shoot it. This time he'll shoot it. Oh, in and out. And here come the Giants. Again, we're getting a little over anxious. We're starting to go for steals. They got to stay disciplined in their position pressure, and I think you know they'll make it very tough for COS to, to get a decent look. Yeah, I think that's going to be a foul on Christian. Yeah, he kind of lost his footing there. Ninth team foul for the Rams. Back in the lineup for the Rams comes Jordan Hollis Buckner. Giants having a Caught a tough break there. They missed both of them. So. Yeah, they've uh, had a pretty tough night so far on the uh, free throw line. There's oh, a Noonan. nice move. Well, it's a little short again. Got into a good position. Wow. Wow. Go to the free throw line again. How about the, yeah, but how about Tommy? Uh, Tommy. Uh, he he gets up and Nuno gets up and down the floor. It's just incredible. Pretty a pretty big kid too. Yeah, you know, and if you I think if you watch him just run, even in practice, he's not the fastest guy out there, but he reacts really quickly. He he sees the whole floor. He you know, and he, he just has a nice feel for the game and a nose for the ball. Armstead makes the first. And, and here's his push and good aggressive move here, knowing that he's penalty gets to the free throw line. And the Giants pull within nine. Actually, they, they, those two now, seven, huh? Okay, now the Rams are going to benefit from the penalty. See if Tyus can knock him in. You know who Nunez reminds me of? Uh, and I know this is going to, you know, say, oh, not many will remember this guy, but Dave DeBusher. Do you remember Dave DeBusher? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, he was the same number, but he was the same kind not of athlete. Not super flashy. Yeah, Just not super get flashy, it, but. Get it done. Yeah. Yeah. On that great and, Nick team. And a smart player. I mean, just high level intelligence on the floor. There you go. Knock him down. Get into the press. And this has been something the Rams kind of went, you know, cold a little bit. Didn't really get into their press much lately because they haven't been scoring. Hey, exit one. Go. Oh. Armstead. Top of the key. Get it into uh, Chazar. Uh -huh. Got to get to the line again. Foul was on uh, Christian Carroll. That's uh, three on Christian with uh, two minutes and 32 seconds remaining in the first half. You have him for three, Chris? Okay. I believe that's what Fred just said. I'm not sure if Coach is aware of that or he'd probably get him out of there, but Christian stays on the floor right now. Excuse me, that was two fouls. Okay. On, on okay. And he just yeah. made the uh, Knocked him in again. The other thing you got to be careful on the Rams, they want to play that up tempo. And sometimes when a team makes you grind it out a little bit and spend more time on the defense side of the ball, sometimes you're impatient and want to go quicker than you normally might, even on the offensive side. So let's see if they can execute here and get a good look. Christian Carroll drives out to Milhall and then he nails it. When he can step into that and he's got his feet set, he's usually right on. He's a couple of his shots, I think he rushed a little bit early, but man, when he takes his time and he's set, he's money. Middle. Circle. Circle. 
Well, just like we thought at the start of the game, Dell, this is uh, turning into a ball game. And, it is. Uh, you know, you know they're gonna really play that chess match, the two coaches. But I think the Rams just got to hang in there, keep the pressure up, and you know that 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 pressure is gonna wear these guys down. That was uh, uh, Austin Malezzo hit that three, and it's back down to seven. Mill Holland again off the front of the rim. Giants rebound. Here comes Armstead. That's traveling, isn't it? Oh, had, had an easier shot over there at Christian the first time. That was just an incredible time down for the Rams. Fred Lavender. Nice. To the bucket. Pass. Collins Buckner to Fred uh -oh. Lavender, and he uh, looks oh, like somebody hurt. Armstead is struggling. I don't know if it's his ankle or his knee. Well, we sure hope he's all right. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure uh, he's walking pretty good. Looks like he'll be back. 58 seconds uh, remain in the uh, first half, and it's been an exciting first half. Uh, looked like it was going to be a blowout there, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think the Rams jumped them early, and it took COS, you know, half of that first, you know, it's eight to ten minutes before they really settled in and realized they've got to move the ball, they've got to still be aggressive, but you know, kind of dictate their pace and they get a better opportunity in the offense. And they were turning the ball over. That first five to six minutes of the game was just turnover after turnover. Let's see if they, if they do here against pressure. Giants are working the ball, working the clock down, looking for that shot right there from the corner, and they get the rebound. No, the Rams take it away. Good hustle. Go the other way with 30 that seconds by remaining. Savage. Got down on the floor and kept it alive for the Rams. This is Pierce, looks up at the shot clock, the game clock. One second between the two, and this is Milham. What's he gonna do, and tie us? Can go high pick and roll here, I think, with Tommy. Or Tommy's going to get the pick. Oh, they went for the lob. Oh, missed it. Good try. Don't foul. Go the other Don't way. Foul. One second. And uh, referee's got to talk this over. The shot, the uh, game clock ran out. It was at zero. Yeah. There was a clock malfunction that I think the, the referees picked up on and realized the game time should have expired. Yeah, I think uh, I think Rusty uh, thinks the same thing. So what are we going to do? I don't know if our cameras got any of those angles on the clock there when we took that last shot. I think what happened was the clock stalled for a while. So you know what they're going to do here? They're, they're going to put, put nine tenths ten. a second. Okay. That means you got to catch it and shoot it real quick. You did. Oh, oh off the front of the rim. Look. Nice try by uh, Zach Nuttall. And that is the end of the first half. Uh, score 20, 38 to 29. Very exciting first half of basketball. And uh, the Rams uh, bolted out and, and COS came back. Yeah, they did. They settled in and they started playing their tempo a little bit more on the offensive side. So. Nice job by both coaches making adjustments. And, and there it is, 38 to 28, 38 to 29. Uh, great first half, and we got a whole second half to come here on CMAC. We'll be back. Biomedicine. 
Students explore issues in medical science and human anatomy and physiology through their involvement in dissections, medical case studies, and research projects. Students investigate how a healthy body functions and how it reacts to disease. Students will collaborate with medical professionals at various hospitals and clinics in the Fresno Clovis area as they research a variety of medical topics. Biotechnology, an exploding science field that leads to high paying jobs in medicine, biology, chemistry, agriculture, and environmental science. Students will apply DNA technology to genetically engineer bacteria, solve medical mysteries, clone tissues, diagnose genetic disease, and explore drug development and testing. Students will wrestle with difficult ethical issues that arise as a result of using biotechnology to solve problems. Business and Finance Learn to manage and invest money. Learn to be your own boss in a business you create. Students study human behaviors of producing, distributing, and consuming materials, goods, and services in a world of limited resources. They learn how the financial services industry works as they strengthen the analytical, technical, and communication skills needed to succeed in any economy. Cybersecurity. In this program, students will learn to design, build, secure, and analyze both home and small to medium business computer networks, media centers, and security systems. Students will also investigate an understanding of the Internet of Things. Through projects and hands-on activities, students will explore the relationship between modems, routers, switches, cables, wireless access points, servers, and attached peripherals. This lab will also offer certifications in Certified Internet Web Professionals, Network Technology Associate, Web Security Associate Certifications, and CompShia's A+, and Security Plus Certifications. Engineering and Product Development Knowledge, imagination, and creativity are used to develop solutions to engineering design problems. Working in small teams, students create working prototypes of their design solutions using a variety of tools and materials. Laptop computers are used to make engineering drawings and create team presentations. Environmental Science and Field Research Students take part in several field trips in order to experience the San Joaquin Valley, San Joaquin River, Pacific Coast, and Sierra Nevada Mountains. Students will carry out hands-on projects relating to careers in marine biology, wildlife rehabilitation, air quality, river ecology, alternative energy, and forests. Students will have the opportunity to work with environmental professionals and government agencies to complete scientific projects. Some examples are growing native plants, restoring native wildlife habitat, rehabilitating injured and orphaned wildlife species, monitoring forests, experimenting in wetlands, and conducting studies of tide pools and beaches. Forensic Research and Biotechnology Students use investigative science techniques to solve intriguing problems involving the law. Scientific evidence, DNA, fingerprinting, physical evidence, scene reconstruction, and biotechnology are used to create a picture of what happened in the past. Hospitality and Event Management. Enter the world of event planning through the doors of hospitality and event management. Students will learn about the skills and knowledge needed to begin careers in hotel and restaurant management, special event planning, and recreation and tourism. Interactive Game Design. Game design requires skill in a number of areas, including graphic design, programming, audio, app development, animation, and modeling. All students have the opportunity to learn about each of these areas while working in teams to create original games and characters rendered in both two and three dimensions. Students are introduced to industry standard software such as 3D Studio Max, Unity 3D, XNA Game Studio, Unreal, Flash, and Photoshop. Law and Order and Policy. Students study the major aspects of constitutional, criminal, and civil law Projects teach students about their individual rights and criminal procedure, how laws are made, and how to make a legal argument. Students learn to research and discuss current and historical controversial issues relating to the law. 
All students have the opportunity to participate in mock trials and field trips to local and federal courthouses and law firms. Marketing, Advertising, and Entrepreneurship Students explore how companies develop their branding through product development, pricing strategies, promotional campaigns, and global product placement. Students enjoy hands-on learning as they develop their own product brands and promotional campaigns, including online advertising in social media, television, radio, mobile, and print advertising. Students learn industry standard technology for conducting market research and creating advertising products. Multimedia, digital media, and graphic design. Students develop skills in communication and message design, including color, typography, and design principles. They will investigate graphic and web techniques in cooperative teams similar to corporate settings. Design students will work on all stages of production using industry standard software to create original products such as logos, posters, newspapers, advertisements, websites, and two-dimensional animation. Multimedia, digital video production and broadcast. Students develop skills in television and film production. Using industry standard software packages, students will engage in hands-on integrated curriculum. They work on all stages of production while creating products such as short films, advertisements, journalism broadcasts, and documentaries. All multimedia students develop skills in the content and presentation of message design, the sociological impacts of media, and the stages of production cycle. Psychology and Human Behaviors Students investigate the inner workings of the human mind on both psychological and chemical levels. Students explore the workings of their own minds while learning why people behave the way they do. Students consider what influences behavior and how behavior is controlled, changed, and modified. Robotics and Electronics Students explore the fascinating and fun world of robotics, covering simple toys to the complex logic and articulation of environmental sensing, recording and actuating devices, and automated design. They will learn to design, build, and program a device that responds to external information. They will learn to understand electronics and computer systems. Web Application Development Students go beyond being a user of technology and become certified to design, develop, and deploy rich internet applications, websites, and games using Web 2.0 developer tools such as Java, SQL, HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript. They will learn the foundational skills of object-oriented programming, web design, database design, scripting, and graphical user interface design to ensure that end users have a positive experience and return again and again to the applications. Certifications through Microsoft, Adobe, and CIW are available. Everybody and welcome back. We are so glad you're here, and uh, we've got a great game going on. It's 38 uh, to 29 in favor of the Rams, but the Giants are not going away easy, are they? They're not. You know, and we're seeing the chess match that we thought we would probably see between these two great coaches. You know, the Rams came out, jumped on them early. Rusty settled his guys down and got them into a tempo. I think on offense that benefited them, where they they just kind of slow the game down a little bit, spread make, it out a little bit, make City, you know have to play more time on defense and, and it benefited them. They got to the free throw line. So, um, you know, it's been a good good game out of both coaches. Well, let's take a look at some of the highlights, OK? And because uh, there were a lot of highlights in the first half, folks. And here's, uh, let's see, this is uh, Eads. And, oh, Milholland going to take one of his threes, yeah, that picking was the, up where he left off That was last the opener time. where Ty is still shooting the ball really well when he has time, sets his feet. 
There's nice a good play inside. By Cole. Yeah, we've seen Cole make a number of those shots in the paint tonight off the glass. The busher makes the. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Tommy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Nuno. He's just. Nuno is just great. I, he's I'm solid. enjoying him. Oh, beautiful play by yeah. Christian Carroll. Kind of looked he, off the defender there with the pass fake and easy all bucket. By himself. Found himself all alone. And there's the kid on the low block that's doing the damage for the this Giants. Isaiah Johnson. And oh, there's he, a nice uh, three, too. He nailed that three. Uh, Johnson out of uh, St. Kigibi. Uh, oh, nice job, Cole. That's he where got, he got poked in the yeah, eye. He got yeah, he got hit in the eye. Good oh, pump beautiful. fake again. Beautiful. Let the defenders fly by. There was a nice pull up off the bounce. Ian Miller. Tyus. Tyus Milhall yeah. and boy there's just there's just a, a, a lot of uh, weapons out there. And I think once once the Giants kind of slowed themselves down a little bit they turned it over earlier they started taking care of the ball that's where they put themselves back in this game and there's Bobby Charza he, he had a nice first half. He for them did have a good for he kept a minute. Yeah. Uh, oh nice that almost play. was an offensive that foul though. Isaiah he Johnson cleared his area with his right arm. Well, you know what? Hats off to our crew tonight. Holy cow, they're really doing a, a lot great of good job. shots. Yeah, a lot of good shots. Just like that was a good shot right there by uh, Malazzo. And here he is again, Mr. Milholland. Remember that name. We hope you come down and see some of these games in person here at City as. Uh, the five o'clock start. Oh, there he is. That's Fred Lavender. So many good players on this team that do lots of good things and uh, exciting to watch. And it's been a it's been a balanced attack obviously for the Rams. They play 10 12 guys but also you saw a really good balance out of the Giants uh, particularly on the offensive side. They moved the ball. They got good shots once they settled into the game and didn't turn it over. And so this first five to ten minutes is really important because I, I know to uh, coaches team at COS they can't afford to fall down 15 20 points you know that'll be too big of a deficit but well um, I, I guess it'll be interesting to see if they can keep up right because that's and, the bottom line and so when the Rams want to run they run and wild. when does the tank start getting a little empty here for the COS team because they just get these continual waves and they're not playing quite as many players and and uh, it usually takes its effect that defensive pressure by that last 10 minutes of the game. How many times have we seen that over the years here at Fresno City College? Uh, many, many times. And, uh, Slowing the pace down has got to help the, the Giants. But, um, you know, early in the game, it was a quick pace. I mean, we came out of the, the blocks and had 11 points up on the board in the first six minutes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, then the game slowed down a little bit. So that's definitely to the benefit of COS. Uh, we'll see if the Rams can increase that tempo with the continual pressure and you know the turnovers start to mount when you get tired and that's when the tempo increases and the Rams get those layups so um, it'll be it'll be a continual chess match to see how Rusty uses his timeouts you know when he needs them because I'm sure he's going to need them the second half to rest his players and how how disciplined can the Rams be on the defensive side of the ball if, the, if COS gets them into the front court they've got to stay disciplined and not reach and just make that team the COS team take tough shots with a hand up and then push the ball back at them the other way. Well you know it's, it's interesting to see too that these five o'clock starts you know on one hand it's 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 great and on the other hand you know the, you know, COS Fresno City is always packed. The it's like a is packed and everybody's going nuts. It's like a Lakers game. They're not showing up till halftime now. You yeah. Know? <laughs> you know. And uh, well this year they're leaving in the early fourth quarter as well. <laughs> yeah. Lakers are having a tough time. But uh, we're having a great time right here at, at Fresno City College. And uh, glad you could be here on CMAC. And I hope uh, you folks at home saw that uh, that video piece they did at halftime about CMAC and all the great things it does for the community and for, uh, you know, for, for everybody watching. And it's just an incredible organization. And uh, they do so many good things. A lot of different sports. Uh, yeah, but, but so sports many is awesome. other things. Yeah. yeah. So we're ready to go. Uh, there's the buzzer. And there is Coach uh, Rusty Smith uh, sending his team out. And uh, this is going to be an interesting first part of the third quarter. See I think it is. I think this tired. first five, you know, five minutes to ten minutes is really important for COS. They, they can't afford, you know, for the Rams to push out 15 to 20 on them. 
but typically you see that happening right around that 10 minute mark where just this pressure and the depth of the ramps takes, takes its toll. Well, they go right to it, and uh, that's going to be the first foul of the second half. It's going to be on Zach Savage. And that's, that's Rusty's more of the offense you've seen out of them over the years because they've usually been forward, center, strong, heavy. You know, that's where their, their better players had been in the past, and they did a nice job there getting the ball to high post, a deep post up by uh, number 11, Bynum, and uh, got himself to the line. He's out of Orosi a High School. He's a freshman. According to the program, he's 5'6". I think they're about uh, 10 inches yeah. off on that one. Yeah. They missed them both, though. Here. Stay down, Bob. Tommy Nuno fighting for the rebound just off the rim. And Nuttall comes up with it. We go the other way. Inside again. Inside again, and the foul is going to be on Tyus Milholland. It's just, let's, that's uh, two fouls on uh, Tyus. Bynum back to the line after missing two. We'll see what he does here. A little short. Oh. Got to work on those free throws. Let's see what Bynum's doing on the year. Got that one to go, the second one, so. Well, he's 73% on the year, so. Cut it to eight. Just having a off night. Nice pass. Oh, and another nice pass. And this is Milholland from the top. It's a three. And Rams back up by 11. Good trap. That's a shot by uh, Connor Tuttle is off. Oh, that was a that was a chancy pass. Yeah, a little, a little risky. Let's see if they can get back defensively here. This is like it was in the first half. They're spending a lot of time way out front. Rams are dogging them. That, and, that uh, really benefits a, COS. If they're a, pay, a little more patient offensively and move the ball side to side, they've generally gotten better looks. They had a pretty good look there at the three. Zach Savage just took that rebound away uh, to get going the other way. And once again, here comes Nuttall. Oh, nice good block. Luck. Who got that? I think that was, Tommy, uh, I think. I think it was Zach Savage. Was it Zach? Yeah. Oh, Good drive. beautiful move by Tyus Milhallen. Let's get the ball to mine. No, this is uh, not all. There's Bynum. Bynum drives. They call the pass off foul. And the Rams commit their third foul in the second half, and that's going to be on uh, Tommy Nuno. That's another area I'd like to see the Rams improve a little bit, just moving those feet a little more, less reaching, and not getting them the opponent into that penalty as quickly, because that, that's another way to slow a game down, is to get to the free throw line. You know, it gives you a chance to rest. And, you know, something the Rams don't want to happen, certainly, but they just got to be a little more disciplined and make sure they move their feet, get to position. And another chancy pass. Nuno threw the ball in traffic trying to get it to each. Oh, he split it. Good trap right there, but he got away. Johnson. That's Pierce on him now. Carroll. Good, good defense. Tough shot. What Sometimes can you say? that was good D. Some, yeah, it you know, was. a little better offense in that possession. But if they have to make those kind of shots, it'll, I don't think they're going to beat the Rams. 
Once again, they're back within 11 are the Giants. And this is Christian Carroll. And that's uh, Lavender coming out. Tommy trying to get in the post, so the mid post clearing out for him. He was looking for uh, Lavender in the, and no, that was Pierce in the corner. Yeah. Let's see, they've got six seconds to shoot here. Christian's got to go. Ah, turnover. Nice job. Nice job. Bobby that was Charizard again. Yeah, Charizard again. Oh, and that's, one. Oh, that's going to be a three-point play. Nice play. Beautiful. Took Eric it, Pierce. Took it strong, pulled it back, hung, finished, get to the free throw line. Very athletic move. He gets a little strength on that frame. He's going to be a, a dynamite player. I well, mean, you know, they I, always said I that about Jamal Wilkes. High, they they he, always said that about him, that he was thin. Yeah. I, I remember his free throw. His free throw was really weird, too. He, he looked like he rolled it up his leg and, yeah. and, and, and <laughs> shot it over his head. But, but, but he was a uh, uh, perfect free throw. But Eric just has a young body. He's just a young, yeah. young man yet that will put on maturity and strength, and particularly in the program that they run here. They're in the weight room, and you give him another year plus, he's going to transform that body into a lot stronger. Well, that weight room uh, is a friend of Ed Maddox. There's no doubt about yeah. that. After it, every he, game, every home game, they're in there. Yeah, and they're lifting weights right from the get-go. Good block off by Cole. And here we go. Cole the other way, looking for Mill Holland. Tyus drives, and he's fouled on the way, and I believe that was uh, Connor Tuttle that got him. Yes, it was. Yep. Tyus is aggressive, and when he gets into your body, when he's in his left side, he kind of leans in, he shoots with the right, so he almost encourages that contact that gets him to the line. Yeah. Very physical, and like I say, he's an 80% shooter, 82% actually on the year. So, nice shot, nice follow through. Mm -hmm. Why, why, why do people miss so many free throws? I mean, I just it never fails to amaze me because isn't it just really oh practice? It is practice. It's it's repetition, and like anything, shooting the ball, whether it be from the free throw line or the perimeter or anywhere, is is repetition, and it's getting your body to just. Be confident that you know it's just a muscle memory type of drill. How was your free throw in the NBA? Well, it wasn't great in the NBA. I didn't shoot a lot. I was only around a 70% shooter. But later, when I played more in other leagues, I was in the mid 80s, upper 80s. Um, but it's certainly a confidence thing too. You oh, know, sure. and a, and a, an ability to learn to relax and just you know, take a shot, just like it's any other shot in practice. Rebound by Spivey. Got it up to Tyus. Oh, that's, that's going to be a foul. Yeah. yeah. He stepped right into him. That's good. Now we're getting, you know, being aggressive, we're getting the fouls equal here. If we can, you know, I think <laughs> you'll see a shift in that whole foul balance, too, as COS gets a little tired in the second half. They won't get as good of shots on offense, and this game will slowly kind of roll City College's way. Tyus so used to we're going to the free throw line, and after that foul, he walked over the free throw line. Cole with the I'll bank take shot. A couple more. Nice. Cole's got that shot down. He, if he gets himself into that four to six, eight foot range, he's going to use that glass every time from the angle. Nice job. There's a turnover. See any, you're seeing a little of the, the pep in the step, I don't think, is there anymore for the Giants already. This, this pressure just wears you down. Yeah, we're only, we're not even into uh, seven minutes yet. And, uh, uh, they are looking uh, a little tired. We used to say when when they went when they bend over and yeah, grab, their, grab shorts, their shorts. Uh, yeah, grab their shorts. Yeah, that's when you know. And he's got yeah, coach. Kind of tired. Coach Smith has a different group in there now. He's realizing he's got to get his starters some rest, and he's got a different group in there. So we'll see how they handle the pressure. Nice oh, pass. Nice, nice pass. Lavender made the bucket, and uh, Tommy Nuno. Boy, how, how many times we mentioned him? We see one him? more score out of the Rams here, and we're going to see a timeout. Uh-oh, there's a foul. 
Looks like it's going to be on Pierce. Yeah. Yep. See, they're going to full denial here. Three against two in the inbound. So they're going to bring their forwards up for pressure release on the wings. Well, there's that's, the trap. Nope. That's two fouls yeah. on Eric. This is uh, Manilo. Manilo having a pretty good game off the bench. Ooh, close to backcourt. Not all. Manilo. Don't want a foul here. He got him pushed out pretty high. This group isn't real Clock winding down. comfortable with their offense. Five seconds. Uh, good extra pass. They got a good look. And they got a three. Nice skip pass. The extra pass to the corner for an open three. Zach Nuttall hit that. Zach got a Corcoran high. Okay. Well, he's tough. Well, he's, you know, he is, uh, you know, for someone who's not built particularly huge, he's a tough guy moving in there. Nice shot by Lavender off the glass, penetrated. Oh, and there's a pick. And Lavender again. They might see a timeout here. Yo, they need one. Offensive foul. Oh, it's a turnover. Yeah, I think the wheels are starting to come off already for COS. I kind of predicted this with the pressure that the Rams will continually bring. That Here's this pick by Manilow. Fred. Good hands. Clean pick. Up and in. Yep. Cole. Travel. Yeah, he traveled. traveled at the top end. A little late whistle, but I think that was the right call. It wasn't on the tail end of that. It was when he first put it down. We jump right back in the press here. Some fresh bodies in defensively. Eads back in for the Rams. Yeah, it says Hollins Buckner. Well, they break the press. Looks like they're starting with 15 seconds. You know, hey, that's another nice, nice shot. Is that, that was Chizar, wasn't it? Uh, that was 11. Was that Bynum? Put that one in, I believe. They're working that post with Tommy, oh, nice step under. Man, beautiful move. Kevin McHale would have been proud of that one. Tommy, Tommy Nuno, yeah, that looked like Kevin McHale on that one. Little ball fake, step through. I've been impressed with this. Tuttle's been a glue guy for them. He's made a lot of good plays against the pressure. Missed that shot there, but pretty good look. Uh oh. There's Tuttle. This is the other area that takes its toll when you see continual pressure. It's just your legs. Your legs start to go, and then all of a sudden the shot's not there. Oh, nice. That was a beautiful shot by Jordan Hollis Buckner. Good hang time. Oh, man. Read. That pass was intercepted the second it left his fingertips. And this is Pierce. Pierce thinks about a shot, says, well, we'll take it out. He wants to go, Ed wants to go into that post every time to Tommy. Kind of run the offense through that mid post. They space out on the other sides of the floor. Give him some room to operate a little bit. Just trying to, good skip pass. Over to Carroll. Oh, that looked good, good look. from here. Got a good shot. Yeah, that makes it harder to shoot, too, yeah, when I you've been working you know, that you hard. Yeah, I think you can see that. That's one area the Rams have kind of 
shot themselves a foot a little bit here on this the transition. They have numbers, they have good things going, and they're trying to thread the needle. Sometimes that hasn't worked out for them. There it is. Oh. Good hustle. Bodies all good, over the place. Good Rams hustling. Are hustling. Both teams, both teams. Yeah. Getting after it. Is that Rams possession? Looks like it. Here comes a fresh five in. Yep. And uh, chains are back in for the Giants. Yeah, they need young man's out of Hanford High School. Boy, I tell you, he's he's, he's solid. He's playing a good game, and yeah. uh, he's a player. There's the drive, and uh, it's going to be a two-shot foul. Foul was on yeah, Zach Nuttall. On the floor, they'll take it out on the side, but good aggressive attack once again by Tyus. Out of the five fouls on the Giants, I think three of them have been instigated by just Tyus being aggressive, taking it to the basket. You know, it was really fun about uh, Tyus uh, on the game the other night, the post-game interview. I mean, he couldn't be happier. You know, he's just yeah. so happy that, you know, he's yeah. he was explaining the, you know, the, the game and just, just having a great time. You know, yeah. he's, he's loving this. There he is. As attacking. so many of the players do. There he goes. He goes right at you, too. Once he gets a half step, he's kind of leaning into you. The foul's going to be on the defender every time. Does a good job of creating that contact. You know, they're all like that. And I, I'm sure that's the way it is on. Uh, both teams. They, they're just loving this. They yeah. just, this is a great time. Oh, it's it's a great time. They they won't even know how great it was until 25 years down the road. But it's good to see them have the enthusiasm. But you know what? Even City League when you get older <laughs> is a great time. It is. Yeah. <laughs> older and slower, you're still having a great time. And one of my old teammates is here tonight, Ben McDonald. Oh, okay. And uh, we played together for years. Oh, there he my goes. Goodness. And he set himself better that time. There's been three or four threes tonight. I think Tyus just rushed it a little bit. And when he doesn't rush it, he's right on the money. 63-39. Boy, it went quick. Good oh, rebound. Lavender high for the board. Go the other way. And this is Titus. Up, up, Tyus up. to Cole. Cole says, let's uh, set it up and uh, do one of those okay. plays we practice all the time. Tough shot. Oh, he I tell you, he protects it. It's almost tonight. a semi-hook where he's got his body between the defender and he shoots it from the outside of, away from the defense and he knows where he's going with it. He's going to the glass every time. Bill Walton nice used shot. to have that shot. Cole Morgan owning the board tonight. Yeah, Cole's had a solid game. He's, he's in double figures for sure. Good D. Ah, tough shot. Yeah, nice shot. Tough shot, but nice shot. Yeah, you can live with those mid-range shots. If you get up and challenge them, there's good rotation defensively. You might get the roll. Help there. Cole again. Trouble. Yep. A little too much, too early. The defense set. I know we're not broadcasting the women's game, but that should be quite a game this, uh, following this one because uh, COS women are right up there at the top of the league. Coach Ray Alvarado has got a good group again this year, so it'll be with Coach oh, Tesler yeah. always has a great team, yeah. so it'll be a great women's matchup. I remember when he was an assistant here. Nice play. Yeah, I, I was reminded of that as I looked across the gym one of my former longtime assistant coaches is in the stands because he's a part-time assistant with the COS women's team nice job Tommy using his body yeah he did look like he pushed off but yeah, you kind of get, get into the defender sometimes you get it sometimes yeah. you don't you know all of a sudden the lead's at 24 and it's there's not a lot of energy left, I don't think, in the Giants' legs. 
Good ball fake. That was Tuttle put up the three, and here goes Nunez the other, the other way. Uh, one of those thread. Oh. To, oh, they got that one through. They've been trying to thread that needle. They finally yeah. got it through. <laughs> that one did that not look nice like it pass. was going to get to the uh, to the to the shot. That that got through a very small opening. This is Tuttle once again. Let's see if they don't try to post up here. They had a lot of success when they go to that. Oh, look at that hustle. hustle. Amazing. That so only gives them seven seconds to shoot the ball on the inbounds here. Tommy Nuno out of Half Moon Bay. I wouldn't say that Half Moon Bay would be a, a, a basketball mecca. I could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I'll tell you one great player that comes from there. And he's just sitting down taking a rest. Uh oh. Gamble gave him the shot. Can't get it. Good tip by Fred to his teammate. Here comes Cole. Tyus oh, going to take that deep one. Long three by uh, Tyus off the side of the rim. Go to it! Wow. You know, what's, am, you know what's amazing is, is how quick they get rid of the ball. Yeah, they got they it. They got the turnover, and they were two passes, and they're down and getting fouled already. Yep. It's a good job looking up the floor, pr pushing it, especially off turnovers. That's where you have that advantage. And there's been a few semi fast breaks where I think we've tried to make the long pass kind of straight ahead where the angles weren't that great. But uh, in that instance, they had advantage, and they took, took it full advantage of it. Here's. The dish yeah, off. Good pass. and uh, Again, he used his body well. Yeah. Shot it with the outside hand. Fred makes the second one. 70-43 in favor of the Rams. We're going to have a timeout here. With uh, six minutes and 49 seconds. And uh, boy, uh, Del Bayshore, you, uh, you, act, you hit the nail right on the head about, uh, you know, that they would tire in the second half. It's, it, how could you not? I'm tired yeah. watching them. And I, I think the thing that I see, what I've seen so far in the league games that I've watched this year is, I don't think the league's quite as strong at the top end. Obviously, City is. Fresno City College is head and shoulders above any, everybody. You know, they'll go, they'll win the league the by Central two Valley or Conference. three games this first half, and they'll probably, you know, I don't see anybody beating them this year in league. And my question would be, how ready will they be to, to play for 40 minutes in a close game? you know, if they get to the state level. And, and I think their execution's gotten better. Their defense has gotten better. It's just that um, well, that's a good point in, because in certain that's areas, you're, you know, you're not going to win every game by right. 10 points or 15 points. And, and in league, they're probably going to average winning on an average by 25 to 30 points yeah. over the, the balance of the whole league. And so I know it, it, it's the discipline. And I think that's, that's where it coach comes in. Coach knows. He understands all that. He's so disciplined that they, they keep getting better and better in their discipline. Ooh, that looked like a carry there. <laughs> Here comes Cole. In numbers. Nope, he'll slow it up. Good look. Oh, Cole oh, says, got well, the why soft not? little teardrop right over the rim. I won't go left. I won't go right. How about I just turn around right here? I didn't think he was going to go up. He usually <laughs> likes to get to that angle and use the glass, but a little teardrop dropped it in. Cole having a great game out there. Right? Yeah, he is. Good hustle. Of course, you expect that out of Cole. He's, he's going to give you everything. Here comes Ian Miller back in for Fred Lavender, who has been a workhorse in there tonight. Coach gives him a round of applause when he comes out. That's where you see a lot of, a lot of shots falling short for the Giants the second half, and that's that fatigue. Nice inside out, didn't get that one.
the Rams even this late in the game the defensive position is, is well, and, just and like it is at the start of the game. Just their pop you know that they have in their legs because most of these guys no, no one's playing 30 minutes a game you know they know they're going out there and give it 110 percent for their 20 25 minutes and uh, you know it really helps to have that depth. Oh nice shot by Ian. Ian Miller. The pride of Elk Grove California. Nice three from the corner. And there's a foul on Ian. I think that's Ian Miller's third foul. I think, I think you know, I think Ian Miller and, and also Spivey, you know, their best days are in front of them. I see at times a little hesitancy. You saw a lot more of that at the beginning of the season. But as these guys step in there and knock down some shots, they're just going to make these Rams even more potent from that three-point line. Tuttle. Not all little little ten foot J off. Good screen out. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful screen Ethan out did by a nice Ethan E. Good job of getting back in there because he showed out front. Then he the gets guard. the rebound at the other end, puts it up. Could have gone, could have easily gone, but he'll go to the free throw. Uh, line good sequence by Ethan. Both ends. Way. I don't know if you noticed, but he stepped out at 15 17 when the guard came off the pick and roll, turned him back to the guard. They switched back, and then the pull up by the guard, and he hustled right back inside, blocked off, made that whole play happen. And he's not even breathing hard. <laughs> <laughs> nice soft touch from the lefty. Ethan is out of, uh, we mentioned Central Catholic, uh, Hawaii Pacific. Oh, yeah. I remember playing at Hawaii Pacific when I was coaching at Fresno Pacific. Well, that must have been a nice trip. That one was. We had an All-American guard for Hawaii Pacific miss a free throw. They had two free throws, and we were up two. He missed one of the two, which was a rarity for that player. He was a heck of a player, guard for Hawaii Pacific. We end up getting out of there with a one point win. Wow. Did you get a chance to go to the beach? Oh yeah, we spent a little time over there. We, we were in a little tournament, so we were there for over the course of about a six day span. My son played uh, high school football over there, Billy. He, they played in, uh, in Hawaii at, at where, where they play the hula ball. Oh wow, that's cool. Clovis High versus Hawaii somebody, and uh, they won. Yeah, that's great. And had a great time. See if the Rams keep up their pressure defensively. And it's like, wow. And a little bit of a gamble. And a lot of times that, that you pay pay the price. Fred, Fred, Lavender Fred just grabbed came his shirt out. to coach saying, yes. I, my bad. I, yeah, I gambled. He, he came out of the game about two minutes ago because he needed a, a, some air. And he came back in and he's making plays like that. Christian Carroll shoots off the rim. And... This is Isaiah Johnson, cross court pass all the way, and here's the shot. Pull up, off, and good rebound. Taking the rebound is who else but Tommy, Tommy Nuno. Looks up forward, gets it to Eads, and Eads is fouled. He wanted he says, to, he wanted yeah, that he three point play. He yeah. knew he should have made that. <laughs> Coach Ammon up talking to his big fella because he works a lot with his interior players around the basket and just their strength and good shot. Here's that play again. Here it is. I think he's just deeper than he realized because he kind of got it stuck in the wedge. He, I don't think he thought he was quite that far under the basket. And he knew he could make it the second time. Yeah. Nice free throw. Good shot by the big guy. Let's see how he's doing this year. He's 58% uh, coming in. Matt. Yeah, not bad. It looked like a better than a 58% stroke. I think. Yeah, once, it did. I think a lot of these Rams too, in a lot of their shooting percentages, both from the field and the free throw line, it, it's a lot of being in the comfort zone. I think you heard Coach talk about that before the game. They're not freshmen anymore, and I think they're realizing that. They're, yeah, they're that relaxing. They're playing with more confidence. They're you know, they're getting into it more defensively. And I think just the whole system, you're seeing them, you know, that maturity within one season. 
That was a great line what he said. That was very true. And, yeah. and, and we've seen it happen many, many times right. before. He knows he takes these guys from being babies to being young men in less than a year. Yep. And they love it. Yep. Nice play by Tyus. Oh, it's nice. Good. Again, used his body well. Kind of jumps in the defender. Easily could have got the call. Three guys closed on him, and uh, it wasn't enough. Coach Smith still imploring his team. He won't stop coaching them. They're, they're out of gas, but oh, they're, yeah. they're giving it their all. Yeah. And they'll be better for, for it. I, I would look for this team to kind of, you know, watching how they play and how they've played tonight and watching some of the other opponents, I, I would guess they'll be. Oh, nice pass. You know, by they, they may pick up that win they dropped against, or that loss they dropped against somebody the second half and come in against the Rams. You know, with less than two losses this next time around. Because I think they came in four and two tonight. But they lost a couple close ones. Yeah, there's three of them tied for, uh, you know. For two the, losses, for yeah. The, the second place. There may be one team. Uh, it was, it was West four. Hills <laughs> remaining with two losses at the end of the first half. So that'll be, you know, an important first game of the second round. Uh, first or second game. I don't think they played Merced early and then they see West Hills in those the first two or three games so nice play by Matt Boyd oh nice job stay with it we down to two minutes uh, these games go mighty quick don't they yeah and it's, up, you know all of a sudden you're pushing 35 points again uh, and it's just, you know, when has a lot of that come? It's come when, you know, the wheels started falling off and the tank was going a little empty with about 12 to 13 minutes left in this game. Shots coming up short. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Good aggressive move there. Yeah, Isaiah Johnson. Yeah, you can see why he's one of their top scorers. He's, yeah. he's an aggressive kid. He's going to give it his all. See if he can knock down his free throws here. No problem. How do you say that name? Saint Kentigevin. I tried before I and I, where that's I hurt my, uh, my, uh, my tongue hit against <laughs> one of my teeth. I'm not sure where that's even at. They're trying to get the ball into Ethan on the post a little bit there. Thinking, being pretty deliberate here, trying to get the big fella some touches down low. You know, I didn't see any of the losses, you know, in the early part of the year, but there's one thing about this team that blows me away is they never get shook. You know, it just seems that they, uh, they know exactly what's going on and how they can make it better if it's not going good. Yeah. And I, I, it would be real interesting to see them play the West Hills team at home. You know, it was a one-point game. They pulled it out over at, uh, at West Hills. But I would think there will be a lot of motivation on the, the part of coach to really take a look at that last game film against that team. And I would bet it won't be a one-point game this time around. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have that game, so we'll, yeah, we'll find a, out. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Uh, and Mark Arce is another good uh, coach uh, at the Central Valley Conference. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they're always going to be competitive. Yeah, I was surprised to see it a one-point thing, though, a one-point yeah. game. Right? Yeah. So I'm looking forward to that but game. But that gym is kind of cool. You know, it's out in the middle of nowhere, and they have great fans there. A lot of fog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long trip. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There's a uh, nice defensive pick. play. Yeah. That was uh, Manilo. Manilo's had a good game. And there's a nice three. Yeah. That's Isaiah Johnson, Johnson, Johnson again. Yeah. Ooh, look at. Oh, nice, oh, nice, oh, good nice pass. pass. Trying to reward the big fella. <laughs> <laughs> That's no fun when you land on a ball, when you sit on it, when you land on it. Johnson going to get himself back to the line again. He's Oh, 
Well, it's played out like we thought it would. The Rams kind of wore them down. You know, COS has given it their all, but. No problem, and it's it's uh, we're down to the last ten seconds. Yeah, and uh, boy, what a yeah, they'll just run it out here. But another good performance by the Rams. Hard to believe they're going to be going to the uh, the weight room after this. <laughs> but we so okay. A lot of respect, a lot of respect right here between these two yeah, teams, these well two coaches, teams. both of them, and. Uh, there's Coach Ed Maddock. And uh, we're, we're going to take a short break, and we're going to come back with some highlights and a player of the game right here on CMAC. This is how you say it's going to be okay to someone who just lost everything. That yes, we'll find you somewhere to stay. And yes, your children will have breakfast. Every eight minutes, the Red Cross responds to a disaster and makes this promise. Help us keep it. Leave something to remember So they won't forget I was here Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. For 100 years, the Boys and Girls Clubs have opened this door for America's youth. Because while many doors open, these doors transform. They did for us. Support your local boys and girls clubs. Great futures start here. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. And uh, we look up on the scoreboard and we see uh, a, a, a game that was close at half, sort of. And, uh, and then it didn't wind up close at all. And right here is our player of the game. And uh, I, I got to say, uh, I'd introduce you as Dave DeBusher. But I get the feeling that you don't know who Dave DeBusher is. No, no, yeah, by on it. Yeah, I'm old. <laughs> but uh, you, you played a great game again, Tommy, and uh, you did. It, it, it's like every game you're getting better and better. And uh, how are you enjoying the experience? Oh, I love it here. You know, Maddox is a great coach, and the teammates. It's a brotherhood. I love all these guys, and it's really fun. Yeah, uh, it, 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 it takes some getting used. Uh, definitely, yeah. We all came from different high schools, and you know. We're all like one of the best players on our teams in high school, and then we're just molding together now and getting a pretty good team together. I was saying tonight that Half Moon Bay isn't really a, what you'd call a basketball mecca, but then again, maybe it is. No, not, not at all. Well, how did you how did you wind up coming here? Um, well, Nicholas Podesta, one of our head coaches, uh, saw me playing in AAU and then got to talking to me and came to visit, and I just I liked it a lot. and. Okay, we're, we're going to look at some of the highlights, and uh, and uh, I'm sure you'll be in a lot of them because you were in a lot of highlights tonight, just as you were the other night. Uh, here we go. This is uh, Tyus, and uh, Tyus, great teammate. He's a great teammate, great player. He can score the ball whenever he wants. You know, it, it's like you guys are on an all-star team, actually, isn't it? It really is. There's so many of you got that, that play so well, and... Uh, and that was, uh, oh, he was a pretty good inside man, wasn't he? That was uh, Chizer. Yeah, he was, he was a good player. Cole had a great game tonight. Yeah, Cole, he was a man inside. He and there's uh, Dave DeBusher. I mean, uh, I mean, Tommy Nuno. And uh, <laughs> you, had a, you had a great game tonight. I don't know how many points you had. I don't know what you did. But, uh, I, you know, as far as, uh, you, know, uh, you know, stats. But you play at both ends of the floor. And that's, uh, that's the way to play the game of basketball. Yeah, thank you, yeah. And there's Fred Lavender. He had a good uh, good night tonight. Yeah, he's a good player. 
it's really something when you when you play so together as a team. There you go, and uh, and play that defense. You, could you could you feel in the second half that you know you guys were just taking off on them? Definitely, yeah. We our defense is just started to wear them down, and we just kept at it. You know, we don't let we don't let go. We just keep at it, and it just wears them down. Is that something you look for, or is that something you you just take it as it comes along? I mean, uh, when they start wearing down. Uh, I mean, we're looking for it. Like once we sense it, we just keep going at it. And then keep running keep and going keep going. At it. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, uh, it's 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 great to meet you uh, uh, and uh, and and watch you play. And uh, good luck for the rest of the year. It's going to be a heck of a year, and of course, yeah. everybody knows where it's going to end up. And was it Las Placitas? Uh, I think but so. I believe, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's just great to watch the team getting better and better and better every time out. And you definitely are right in the middle of it. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Thank you, Tommy. Thank you. And uh, we'll take a short break and come back right after this. Thank you. Can you help me with this? My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Sure. He helps me with homework. That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Todd's a great guy. I mean, look at him. What? A sweetheart. At a boy. Wait, Todd, what are you doing? How totally selfish and untod like of you. Come on, Todd. Come on, man. We're just here uh, it, talking about the game, and it was a great game, and. Uh, you know, that young man is just like all of them. He's just a terrific young player, and uh, love, he loves what he's doing, and uh, they all love what they're doing. I want to thank the crew from uh, CMAC tonight. These guys did a great job tonight. Yeah, a lot CMAC of Sports is awesome. They do a good job across the board in all their broadcasts. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, Dell, it's always a pleasure to uh, do the games with you, and we're going to be back sometime soon, and uh, we don't know when, but... Uh, Come down and see the Rams play in person, too, as well. And uh, we'll look forward to, uh, to, to doing that. And another game to script as far as the, how the Rams play. The pressure, they come at you. They came out strong. You know, COS did a great job with Coach Smith. You know, well-coached team. They kind of scrapped back into it. But that uh, pressure just took its toll. Yeah. You know, by the time in the second it's half. said and done, it's a 30-point game. And the Rams, you know, have just worn you out again. Right. And... Even though they were tired, you still got to give uh, COS some credit because the Giants kept coming back. They kept giving it all they had. And, uh, and they're a young team. They're going to get better. Those young guards they have are kind of leading them right now, and so we'll see them another year. And I'm sure, you know, Coach Smith will do a great job of adding to that talent to make them even better next year. Right on. And uh, we're going to look one more time at the final score. There it is, 88 to 81 to 55. And uh, it was an exciting game, Del Bayshore. Always great uh, working with you. Love and doing uh, it, Chris. You're the man. And uh, we will uh, we will see you next time uh, on C Max Sports. Thanks for being with us, everybody.